Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure review and showcase we're going to be looking at the Legacy Evolution Deluxe Bombshell figure. So with this video we're going to have a quick look at him in both of his modes, help you decide how you want to display him. We are of course going to do some comparisons with him and his original Generation 1 self. Now of course we've got him, he completes the trilogy of the updated Insecticons so we can see what they all look like together. We can also do some other comparisons and display ideas with some of the other figures that have been released in this toy line and indeed some other figures of Bombshell that have been released um, either in Generation 1 mould or in his newer moulds as well. So as you can see, quite a bit to get through with this video. So as I pop these away, I'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to this channel, if you'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now, please. And also to thank In Demand Toy Stores in the UK, because that's who I purchased this from. And as you can see, they got him out to me nice, quickly and safely. Right then, let's start off with having a quick look at him. This is how he comes packaged in robot mode. He is, of course, in the windowless box with the lovely art work them of him in his alternate mode and then of course on the side you've got the full robot and the bust there as well of course you've just got the legacy evolution artwork there and then for the people who want to see the um stats on him you can scan that there and we'll have a quick look at the back <clears throat> we can see he's going to take 13 steps you can pretty much tell he's going to be nice and basic but that's the beauty of g1 basic but fun and this is a fantastic fantastic version of bombshell totally totally loving him what we'll do then is some quick first impressions now the head will turn around it won't go all the way around because this part on the back is attached to his head but it does obviously restrict it a little and you can't look up and down with it either the arms will go right out to the side i think you've got a choice of how you want these now if you put them up they look a little better than sticking right out obviously you've got a swivel um, just under the shoulder and there where the bicep does flex as well well, unfortunately the wrists don't swivel and unfortunately there are hollow forearms which you can tell where the fists are going to fold in there is a wrist sorry a waist swivel um, the arms as I say do go out to the side and all the way around like that the legs kick right up to 90 degrees and indeed all the way back but the good thing about the legs is you can see they're pretty much um, all filled in there's a teeny bit there but it's not too bad not really that noticeable uh, with regards to accessories very quickly there is these two parts which we can do an evo fusion on the gun i'll show you in a second and they also double up as the insect legs and there is just his standard blaster so i think as you can tell for first impressions really liking the look of this guy let's have a look at him in his alternate mode and then we'll come back later and see how his weapons and everything look as well Okay, we're back, and as you can see, he's in his alternate mode. Quick apologies for that, but the main reason is to keep the length of the video down, and the second, because it's a new figure, I don't want to spoil it for anybody who wants to experience it for themselves. However, he's not complete, because what I've not done yet is attached to these two small guns, which, again, I mentioned in the first part, they double up as his feet in the insect mode, and, of course, they can be used as an Evo Fusion gimmick in his robot, but that just completes the look there this of course does have articulation and i suppose you can say there's a bit of articulation in the feet and you can already tell there's going to be some in the back legs but to be honest um that's just i've just knocked that out by accident there's nothing else it's just great i know it's really basic i know it's just a great big block but it is just a fantastic homage to this it really is i mean look at it it's just exactly that it's just an updated version uh, but of course a more cartoon accurate so i'm wondering if we're going to get a different head for this so we can of course have both types of heads which we've got with um kickback already right that's the size difference with regards to that with regards to other deluxe figures in the similar toy lines he's as big as drag strip and i've still got legacy evolution prowl i've not put into robot again yet so he's about that big um just again there's nothing much more to say about it the chest cavity unfortunately doesn't open uh it's just great um and i can imagine a load of people as i say buying loads of these to do of course you know play given sectorcons most people who buy insecticons tend to have you know more than one etc and again look there is five millimeter ports on the side there on his feet so you could if you wanted to attach more accessories on the back it's got funnily enough the gun in this particular um, hole but it doesn't really make a single bit of difference right there we go we're going to come back for the final time with him in his robot mode do some comparisons and see how he looks with his accessories 
Okay then, back for the final time with him in his robot mode and let's do some last, I suppose, detail looks at him with the beautiful chest there. It is translucent, but as I said in the other segment, you cannot open it and the paint apps on him just really work. That's a brilliant homage as well with them what used to be stickers um, on the original. And what I mean by that is if I bring this one in now and also I'll let you know before we get to the end, I've already got two bloopers for this. One is including this because he's got a bit, he's got a couple of dodgy legs and he just keeps falling over. So I mentioned the homage. You can't even see it yet, but there you go. There's the homage. There is the sticker. Uh, um, yeah, you can see this one is playing me up a little bit. And of course, there at the back, I've just noticed that. Uh, that's the best thing about when I do these videos. For those of you new to the channel, I don't do any real research. I look at some pictures. I just take them out the box and just do a review on them. So I didn't even notice the homage there either until now. I noticed the sticker on the back, which is perfect. Um, of course, obviously, you can see that there's no chrome on any of these. Um, and I totally get that. But to be fair, this is his cartoon appearance. This was the toy. So this then leads me to believe or hope that A, we're going to get, you know, a head change like they did. Exactly like they did with Kickback, to be honest. Um, with regards to the weapon accessory, this is the newer one. And that is the original. So funnily enough, it's just a small shrunken down version of it. And it's, I suppose, you know, it's really good. You've probably heard people and collectors say it's so good to actually get a deluxe bombshell because obviously we had another one, but he was smaller uh, than the original. He wasn't really big at all, which is crazy. So it's really nice to get these um, in deluxe size. Now, what you can do with these weapons, I'm going to keep them there, might as well. You can either put them basically where they were as feet so they will double up under like so one thing i need to mention is these fists don't come they look like they're a little curved in if you push too hard they just disconnect as you've probably seen in the transformation process so you can keep them there you can turn them around to the back if you want to cover them up a little bit but i think what's it's you know i was going to say it's clever it is clever it's a bit of fun as well and that's the best thing about these figures you can just take it and you can pop them either side uh, of the gun like this and it gives it a whole new dimension and this is obviously what they're calling the evo fusion gimmick part which you can see right there and again i do like it i think it's fun and it just means that you can have more fun with it exactly that you can play around you can still put another weapon in that hand if you wanted to and i'm sure you'll agree he looks great one more th well a couple more things i want to do is before i want to move him out of the way um, please don't show it to me, anybody watching this, but I definitely want to repaint and I definitely want a generation select, of course, of this guy. So for those of you who don't know who this guy is, this, I would love to say it's an original Diaclone version, but it isn't. It is the Japanese e-hobby, which of course is the same colours as the original Diaclone. And I'm sure you'll agree, looking at this, how good that would be in them particular colours. I'm sure it'd be great. Right, so that's the one I definitely want to do. One other thing I want to do with this video uh, before I bring in all the main... The main thing I want to do is bring in the other Insecticons, but I think I've got to do some obligatory other size comparisons for you. So if you don't collect mainline and you want an idea how big he is, I'm just going through New Age, Doctor Wu, Magic Square and Iron Factory. So that gives you an idea of his height if you don't collect mainstream. And now let's give you an idea of his height if you do. So we've got uh, core class. We've got generation one Bumblebee. So mini bot. We've got a generation one Optimus Prime. Um, what else have I got here? I've got a Takara World Smallest Transformer Optimus Prime. I've got a two Lux. In fact, these are probably interesting as well because these are the same toy lines. So if I take these out of the way, again, I'm going to save the Insecticons till last. So if you're waiting for that, apologies. It is coming up, but it's going to be at the very end. And again, well, don't forget there's two bloopers at the end as well. So let's move this out of the way. Let's bring in Voyager class bludgeon. Yes, I've just put the sword there just for a minute so I could stand them and they could all fit on screen. And of course... We've got leader class Skyquake. So that's full pretty much range of the sizes in this particular toy line. All looking fantastic. Let's move them out of the way again. And this is what I've been waiting for. And I'm going to do a few. I'm going to do a short video actually on this with all of the new ones and all of the original ones. Uh, just so you can see how 
much they've improved and this is what i was on about earlier there is obviously a different toy head for kickback if you want him to be what a fantastic update to the insecticons let me know what you think guys in the comments i think they're spectacular and don't forget the bloopers coming up right now take care Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure review and showcase we're going to be looking at the Legacy Evolution Deluxe Insecticon bombshell figure. So with this video we're going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes, help you decide how you want to display him. We're of course going to do some comparisons with his original Generation 1 self in both modes. Oops, I knew that. Okay then we're back. That's two bloopers in one video already. <laughs> 